check it out, Casper. Hey everyone, and thanks for tuning in. Casper here, and with the Meet Your Match slash Pyro vs. Heavy update, Valve made a number of changes to the way that we find matches in Team Fortress 2, including the introduction of competitive and casual modes, and the retirement of the old quick play. With these new modes has come a leveling system, or to perhaps be slightly more accurate, two leveling systems. Your competitive matchmaking rank, and your casual matchmaking level. Now a lot of people are a little confused about these, and rightfully so, as Valve has done a pretty poor job of explaining them to us. But, by the end of this video, you should understand them pretty damn well. So the first thing to note is that these two systems are entirely separate. Your competitive rank, which is a number from 1 to 18, and goes from the name Fresh Meat all the way up to Death Merchant, is for competitive mode. Now this ranking system works like you might have seen in other games such as Counter-Strike or Overwatch and it represents your skill level and it will go up or down depending on your performance in a game and most importantly whether you win or lose. So that's right, say you get up to rank 3, if you continually lose games you can go back down to rank 2, rank 1 and so on. Now in casual mode it is quite different. What you have is something entirely separate from that competitive rank. So no matter what you do in casual mode, your competitive rank is not going to be affected. So unlike the competitive rank, this can never go down. You can only gain experience points. So kind of like what you see in a single player game or an MMO games with RPG elements. If we were talking about something like your archery skill in Skyrim, the more that you fight enemies with your bow, then the more archery skill experience points that you will gain. And then eventually you'll level up and no matter how poorly you fight with your bow in the future, you will never lose those experience points. That's exactly how the Team Fortress 2 casual points work. These casual levels at the moment are literally entirely cosmetic. They represent absolutely nothing other than your experience in casual mode. Valve has stated that the casual matchmaker will try and put you with people of a similar skill level, which does imply that there's a hidden value behind the scenes. Now this is nothing to do with your casual level that you can see. In casual mode you may be level 6, and you might get matched with someone who's level 100. But don't worry, it's just a representation of the time played, nothing to do with their skill. When you do gain levels in casual mode, you will notice that your emblem slowly evolves. There's an excellent video here from a YouTuber called Joss, which you can see a clip from as I speak. It shows that how the badge evolves as you gain levels. Essentially, it starts with stars, then it adds some bullets, a few more little things, and then it eventually changes colour and repeats the whole process. At the moment, there are 150 level options in the game files, but I've got no doubt that someone's going to reach that pretty damn soon, and at which point I'm assuming there'll either be more levels, or it will go back around, maybe in some sort of prestige system? I don't want to call that yet. So go check out the video on Joss's channel, linked in the description to see all 150 medal variations, and check out some of his other SFM content, because this guy clearly knows what he's doing. So before we move on to the competitive rank symbols, you might be asking, hang on, if these casual ranks are purely cosmetic, then what's the point of them? Well right now, there isn't really one. I'm honestly surprised that there's no reward every level, or every 5 or every 10 levels, such as a skin or a guaranteed weapon or a case drop. I suspect that this is something that they're probably going to add in the future, and maybe when you're watching this, they have added it. I also believe that these levels are going to be used as a barrier to entry in competitive matchmaking, kind of like they are in Counter-Strike GO. Right now, all you need is a premium account and a telephone number linked to your Steam account. This means that, and I mean this politely, any old noob can just pick up and start playing competitive and that was not going to be a good experience for them and it's not going to be a good experience for anyone they're playing with which is why we probably want people to reach a certain level in casual mode before they give the competitive mode a go. On top of this, competitive games are often attractive to script kiddies so having to reach a certain level in a casual mode will almost definitely start to put off some of the potential griefers from setting up a second account to grief on. So let's take a quick look at those ranked icons we talked about. Unlike the casual icons, these are entirely different for each rank. However, when they are displayed in-game, they do have various numbers of skull symbols above them, which better represent their position on the ladder of ranks. So there you go. The really short version is your levels in casual are completely separate and can never be lost. Once you gain a level, you will always be that level or higher. Ranks, on the other hand, are what you earn in competitive mode, and these can be lost. And they go up or down depending on your performance in competitive mode. So that's it everybody, I am doing loads of competitive tips videos, I've already got a series that I've started, Road to Death Merchant, a little bit ambitious, but we might very well get there, so check that out, some of my live commentaries, and subscribe if you haven't, so thanks everybody, and I'll see you in the next time.